Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to talk about our like weekly grocery list, everything that we buy on a weekly basis. To keep everything organized, I use Google Keep and I have it on my phone, on my tablet. Garrett has it on his phone. What I love about this app for a grocery list is it keeps all of your items stored below. Like after you check them off, they don't disappear. They go below any list that you might have and they just show as checked off and crossed out. And if you would like to add it back to your list, you can uncheck it and it'll pop right back up. And so as I'm making my grocery list, I usually just scroll through here and uncheck everything that we need, anything that we're out of, or anything I know I want for the week. And that is basically all I do to make our grocery list. So the way we've made this so simple is that we sort of have a master grocery list. Of course, there's always things that pop up that I don't keep on my master list, like dish soap or this or that. But these are all the things that we will consistently buy whenever we are out of them. So I'm just gonna jump right into kind of what's on our list and how we approach grocery shopping. So we always start in the produce section. There's certain things that we get every week. Um, and then there's other things that we only will get if it's on sale or if it's a good price. So the types of things that we get every week is like apples, oranges. I really like having at least a few Roma tomatoes on hand. Um, that's just a great fresh thing to throw into any dish to just add um, like a fresh element. And avocados, as long as the price isn't too high, I really like having these on hand. So especially when it's low, I will stock up and then just put them in the fridge so they won't go bad. We always want to have kale or spinach on hand to get some dark greens in our smoothies. Um, both of us prefer spinach, so that's usually what we get. But I do have kale on our list just to remind me that there is another option for a dark green leafy vegetable. Um, so we will get that sometimes, especially in the winter, I like to make soups. I have green onions and onions on the list and I actually chop, we buy a bunch of these at once and I chop them all up and we put them in the freezer so I don't have to buy these as often but these are something I always want to have because it's great to have them in the freezer and then I just sprinkle a little bit into pretty much anything that I'm cooking. I have talked about this before but I normally don't meal plan until after I grocery shop because it really depends like what's on sale, what they had. Um, like in stock and all of that. So some things on the list that are not every week things, but mentally I wanna like look at them or consider them is carrots, zucchini, broccoli, and lettuce. And if any of those things are either on sale or they look really good or whatever the case may be, I'll at least pick like a couple of those things so I have good vegetables to work with for the week. Um, so it sort of just depends what I'm feeling. I don't usually get all of those ones. I always wanna have sweet potatoes and potatoes on hand. We usually buy regular potatoes by like the big 10 pound bag and then that'll last us quite a few weeks in the fridge. I just put it right in the fridge as soon as we get home and I'll just pull that out and I use it for like breakfast burritos or I'll use it for different dinners and um, yeah, so as soon as our bag of potatoes runs out, I always buy another one. And then sweet potatoes we use a lot for Emily. She absolutely loves sweet potatoes, and I do too. Garrett's not as much of a fan, um, so I use them for my breakfast burritos that I make for our freezer. And then something that we always get, and it's kind of at the bottom of my produce section of my list because it's the last thing in, towards the back of the produce section in the store before we move on, um, but that is bananas, and we get that every single week. Emily totally is obsessed with bananas, and we go through a lot of them. And then on our list, I have berries, and then I have in parentheses on sale with a question mark, because whenever berries or fruit or anything like that is on sale, we will stock up on those things, but we never really buy um, berries or different fruit unless it's on sale because it can be pretty spendy um, so just for example like blueberries were on sale a couple weeks ago and so we've got quite a few cartons and most of it ended up in our freezer so now we have something to add to overnight oatmeal or to put in smoothies uh, but that's definitely not something we buy every week I really like to um, but the way that we um, keep it stocked up is every time it is a really good low price we just buy a bunch of them and end up freezing it. Like blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, raspberries, um, but really any fruit that looks good or it's in season or like pineapples if they're on sale I love to get those, um, but fruit we really just kind of go with what's on sale, what looks good, what's in stock. 
I like to be stocked up on lots of different types of beans. Um, we do use those fairly often and so I kind of have them all listed out separately, all the different beans that I like just to remind myself and then when I'm making the list I'll kind of peek in the pantry and if I'm out of a certain type of bean I'll add it back to the list and I'll get a few cans of it that week. So really that just depends like where our pantry is sitting. I like to keep you know, at least like two or three cans of each type of bean that we use um, on hand. So on the list I have chickpeas, black beans, kidney beans, white beans, pinto beans, um, and then I have lentils on the list. I've been trying to start using more lentils and other legumes and stuff like that besides just beans. I got really attached to beans for a while, so I'm trying to like branch out from totally using beans for like every dinner that I make. Um, so that's been really fun, but lentils is something else I like to be stocked up on right now. And then most of the items on our list for the middle of the store, kind of like all of the aisles, anything that would be like packaged or processed are the types of things that we like to be stocked up on a couple of different things, but we don't buy them all the time. Um, so this might be like tomato paste or tomato sauce. Um, something I make maybe like a couple times a month is homemade pizza and I make my own pizza sauce when I do that. So I like to at least make sure I have one of each of those in the pantry so I have everything I need to make it whenever we decide we want it. With that is like turkey sausage is usually the topping that we will put on the pizza and then we usually always have cheese that's later down on the list. Um, but yeah, just for example, I like having those things on hand, but we really don't use them up very quickly. And then similarly, I like to like bake different things every now and then, so I will always want to. So I always want to be stocked up on vanilla, sugar, brown sugar, powdered sugar, flour, all of those things. Um, but we hardly ever have to repurchase them. I just keep them on the list because when I'm making my grocery list, I don't ever want to be out of any of those things. Because as soon as I'm out of like brown sugar is when I really want to make something that needs brown sugar. So I just like to keep those on my list because it's sad to be out of them. On our list, we also have raisins rolled oats. Um, we always have oatmeal on hand. We actually go through a lot of oatmeal right now. Um, and Cheerios. And so like raisins and Cheerios are sort of just like Emily snacks or I'll use raisins for oatmeal or for different baking things every now and then. But neither of those are things we purchase super consistently. Um, tortillas is something I never want to be out of. Um, I never know when I'm going to get in the mood to make another batch of breakfast burritos because it's hard. Sometimes I just have days where Emily won't let me do like big kitchen tasks like that and so whenever I'm having a good day and um, I have the opportunity to do breakfast burritos I want to have tortillas on hand so whenever we're out of them I buy like three packages and I store those in the fridge as well and they keep for a really long time in the fridge and I've mentioned before in other videos that we eat a fairly plant-based diet um, we don't like to necessarily like restrict or like 100% cut anything out um, so as we are going through the store, we always keep our like minds open to any good deals. So for example, like last week when we did our grocery shopping, there was these huge hams. It was like a 10 pound ham and it was like less than 50% of what the price normally would be for that ham. It was just a very good deal and so we ended up getting that and we've been having ham like every day this week. And so we just keep our minds open to things like that, but for the most part, unless there's a specific good sale or a specific reason, we do kind of tend to lean towards more of a plant-based diet. But that being said, we do like to buy a few things that aren't plant-based um, and keep those on hand consistently. And one of those things is cheese. We like to buy just like the bags of ready-to-go shredded cheese. We will always peek at this and if it's on sale, we'll stock up um, so that we don't ever have to buy it full price. That's kind of the goal because it's something that we'll keep for a little while in the fridge and we don't move through it super quickly. The same goes for butter. We haven't bought butter in like weeks because butter was super super on sale um, like a month or two ago and so we kind of stocked up and again that lasts for quite a while in the fridge so we've just been stocked up on that for a long time. In the freezer I always like to be stocked up on frozen mixed vegetables. I think that's a really great thing to throw into soups and it's just really convenient. Um, Emily will eat those as well but for Emily especially I like to be stocked up on bags of frozen peas and frozen corn. I just think that's a good like side, a great thing to add to like her main meal and um, she really likes both of those things so that's great too. Um, I also like to stay stocked up on crackers. That's just like a great snack option for Emily. She really likes them and it's sort of a treat for her because everything else that I give her is mostly really fresh um, and like homemade and definitely not like 
from a package, so that's something that she really enjoys, and honestly, if we leave crackers laying around and Garrett sees them, he'll eat like an entire box of crackers too, so I only have three more things on my list, and the first one is yogurt. Just like the big containers of Greek yogurt, um, I just get like the honey Greek yogurt or like the honey vanilla Greek yogurt, and that's something that Emily and I both like to have for like breakfast or lunch. I'll make like a little yogurt parfait thing, and so that's something... Um, again, that's like not plant-based, but that's something that we really enjoy. Um, I like to stay stocked up on eggs, and I don't personally necessarily eat a ton of eggs right now. Um, I'll make eggs for Emily and I for breakfast, like every now and then. It's definitely not one of our go-tos currently. Not for any specific reason, we just have some different favorites right now. It's been our go-to in the past. Um, but like I mentioned before, I do like to do some baking and different things, and so I never want to not have eggs because if I go to make like pancakes or something um, I definitely want to have eggs on hand so well depending on what's on sale and when it's on sale we'll buy like 18 at a time and that'll last us for a few weeks and then the last thing is milk we buy just regular whole milk um, that's one of those things that we would maybe like to try like coconut milk or almond milk maybe in the future, but that is quite a bit more expensive right now, and so we are happy with just plain, regular whole milk right now. Um, that's what Emily likes. We use that for our coffee. Um, every now and then we'll have cereal, not usually. And so we don't, we don't go through as much milk as we have in the past, but we do go through a lot of it. We get um, one or two big jugs of milk a week and we definitely go through them. I do want to just like say again, I think I already said it, but there is totally things that pop up um, if there's certain things on sale. If there's like a huge sale on ground turkey, then we won't not buy that because again, we're not trying to like completely eliminate certain things. We just think it's a little bit healthier to eat a plant-based diet, so we sort of just focus more of our energy to do that, um, but we're not going to like pass up a sale and we're not like completely eliminating really anything. Um, our goal is to just be healthy and we want to do that as budget friendly as possible. Um, and then also like I said, like soaps or just things that you do have to buy, toilet paper, those things always pop up and I'll add them to the list and then when we purchase them I will delete them from my list so I don't have to scroll through it as I'm making my list every week because um, those aren't the types of things that we have to buy like as often. So. It just makes it simpler for that master list to stay as short as possible. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about like how I grocery shop or anything like that. I do have videos planned on like how we meal plan and some of our go-to meals. Um, so you'll see those over the next couple of months. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!